serving your town and all of northern Michigan. This is 7 and 4 News at 6. Talking to the officers and fire people who were on scene at the, uh, at the beginning, yes, very much so. It was uh, amazing that, that that young man did survive. New information tonight. Investigators say it is, though, too early to know exactly what caused yesterday's deadly plane crash that killed four people. A 13-year-old boy is the only survivor. Good evening. I'm Mark Shillette. And I'm Diana Fairbanks. A National Transportation Safety Board spokesperson tells 7 and 4 News the pilot was from Skokie, Illinois. He and his four grandchildren were flying back from a day trip to Mackinac Island when their plane crashed shortly after takeoff yesterday afternoon. The accident killed that man and his three teenage granddaughters. His grandson is the only survivor, and he was burned badly and is in downstate hospital tonight. The Mackinac County Sheriff and a National Transportation Safety Board investigator released new information about the crash just about an hour ago. 7 and 4's Andrew Keller has been following this story since it first broke. It's been 25 hours since this twin-engine Beechcraft Model 58 crashed. The FAA and NTSB were on scene collecting the data and doing the investigation, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Cameras were allowed closer to the wreckage Wednesday, and these images show the crash that killed the pilot and three others on board. One of the engines of the twin-engine plane is 50 feet from the rest of the wreckage, and the northbound lane that the plane hit has been marked. Debris is scattered everywhere. Spray paint marks where pieces once were, and the tragedy is clear. Being here for uh, uh, over 23 years with the sheriff's office, you get to see various incidents. You hear about different types of accidents. This is the first that uh, I've heard uh, where the community has been involved with so many uh, resources and so many private citizens who responded right away to the accident uh, in an attempt to rescue the individuals. The pilot has been identified as 73-year-old Mashi Menorah from Skokie, Illinois. Three of his granddaughters who were visiting from Israel died in the crash. 16-year-old Ricky Menorah, 14-year-old Rachel Menorah, both in this picture, and 17-year-old Sarah Klein. There was one lone survivor, 13-year-old Yossi Menorah. He's pictured on the left. A group of volunteers from New York collected remains of the four people killed to follow the Jewish law for burial. Yes, Chesed Shalem, this is the name of the organization. Whether it's blood or body parts, to make sure that uh, we can follow the uh, Jewish tradition and Jewish law of burying people in a timely fashion with every all remains possible. As soon as they're done collecting, they'll ship the remains to Israel, where they'll be buried as soon as possible. Yossi Menorah, the 13-year-old boy who survived the crash, was airlifted from Mackinac County Airport to the University of Michigan Hospital. His status has been upgraded from critical to serious. His mother has flown in from Israel to be with her son. In St. Ignace, I'm Andrew Keller, 7 and 4 News.